Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I just got home from Target. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know that when I got home from Savannah last week, I had like a four day migraine. I was like completely out for the count. So this week it's Wednesday. We had plans like all weekend. And so this week I have just been like, busting my butt trying to do all the things and be super productive so today i got ready i repainted my nails i washed my hair i just got home from running a bunch of errands do you guys do the refillable soap i just we ran out of the all-purpose soap so i use that and then i also do the refillable um foaming soap in the kitchen i just got these glass containers on Amazon I had these ones are from on um, target it's that method brand and I had just the plastic ones but I figured I should upgrade them and I love the way that this looks but it has the foamy in top so good stuff I will link it below in case you guys are interested but I had to pick up this I got another lash paradise because the one that I purchased if you guys I don't remember when I was talking about it but I bought it and I realized I bought the waterproof, so it was really hard to get off. I'm just not a huge fan of waterproof mascara. So yeah, I picked up a regular one so that I can start using this one. And I picked up so much stuff from Old Navy, which by the time this vlog goes up, you probably will have already seen an Old Navy haul. Hold on. Two big bags. Like they are packed. So I am going to try all of that on. I did the buy online pickup in store. Um, pro tip for you guys, if you're ever shopping from Old Navy, usually online they have a coupon code. Like today it was 30% off online only. So I bought online and then just picked it up in the store. So you still don't have to wait for it. It's ready in like an hour or so, but you still get the discount. So that is what I did. I also just got this package from Elements and it's for breast cancer awareness. It's a new limited edition pro collagen marine cream super size and it says, okay, so it's 100 milliliters, it's $199 and it says it's worth 256. And I think that they are giving back to, so it says, regardless of sales of this limited edition product, $25,000 will go to the pink agenda, which is amazing. But this is the little package it comes in, which is so cute. It's just this like little zipper tub. And this would be really good to store like a jewelry or something in, or if you had like a very small uh, nail polish collection or something, you could put your stuff in here. But this is it. This is huge. I actually have the regular size, so I'll show it to you. I'm going to go into my office in a minute and I will show you guys um, how big this one is compared to that one. But yeah, that's awesome that they are donating to the Pink Agenda for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Always love to support that. And this is actually really good day cream i have been using it quite a bit recently it's like as soon as the weather gets a little bit cold my skin is like okay time to be dry another thing i have to do today that i have been putting off is my food sensitivity test so like i said five seconds ago i have been dealing with insane headaches and i've had headaches for my entire adult life and even like probably since i was about 11 or 12 and they have been getting progressively worse and i the only thing i can think of that has changed is probably something i'm eating but go, just trying to go through all the things that i've been eating it's really hard to figure out what exactly it is so i decided to just do the test i cut out dairy for two weeks i didn't have a headache during those two weeks but then i added it back in and wasn't getting headaches so I don't know if it's dairy or maybe it's like a specific thing that's in dairy. Like anyway, so I ordered this test. I am so scared of needles and I know that it's probably not going to hurt that bad. It's just a finger prick. So they send you like the whole little kit thing. 
and this is it it's like a little thing i guess you unscrew the top and then you prick your finger and then you just have to put your blood on all of these little circles i know that for most like the average human i'm being a huge baby but it's just like a mental thing uh, about needles that i'm just terrified to do this so i need to do it i think i might make adam prick my finger so that I don't have to do it. But then you send it in and you're supposed to get your results in like five days. So I will share the results once I get them and then hopefully it'll give me some insight into my headaches and maybe I can just solve this problem. That's like best case scenario. Worst case scenario is this thing sucks. It gives me no answers and I'm still at square one. I need to get to filming some stuff. I'm trying to get ahead of my content so that I'm not constantly like, filming last minute and trying to get things up the same day that I film. So I I do need to get to filming, but I figured I would show you guys my outfit. This sweatshirt is from Aerie. I don't know if this exact same one is still for sale or if the one that they have for sale is just a similar one, but I love it. These are my uh, Amazon leggings. They're the absolute best. They're super, super high-waisted and they're amazing. And then my New Balance sneakers. These I am still obsessed with. I wore them so much last fall and during the spring. They're back and I think they're still available. I think they're available in navy as well. I'm in my filming room so I grabbed my um, regular pro collagen cream. Look at this size difference. This is insane. They are, it's like the little, little brother of this guy. Uh, so either way, they're supporting a really good cause, which is awesome and it's cool that they're not doing it based on sales They're doing it just a set amount Regardless. Hey guys, it is Friday <sighs> I haven't picked up the camera in a couple days I've been an insane person trying to film all the videos and get all the content out for you guys I just finished up my Everly Well sample <laughs> It's Friday, Wednesday night. I tried to get Adam to help me with it. Um, I'm just packing it up. So basically they, my blood samples are on this and then I just have to put it in this bag and then put it back in the box and ship it out. Uh, basically, <laughs> I um, tried to do it on Wednesday with Adam's help and it turned into a sob fest of me crying trying to let him poke my finger and get blood. I am so terrified of needles. Okay, so I think this just goes right back in the box. Yeah, so I just have to put my sample back in the box and then put it into this little envelope that they give you a little label for. So anyway, it was not cute. I was a disaster trying to let him help me. And so today I ended up getting together with my mom and we shot photos and went to lunch and she ended up being able to do it for me. Oh, I did not think this was going to be such a big ordeal. I knew that I was scared of needles, but like this was a little excessive. So this is the box. I just need to pop it in the mail and then I'll be good to go for that. And then it says five to seven business days after they get it, I should get the results. So of course I will let you guys know as soon as I get the results, hopefully it'll give me some answers. I can eliminate some stuff from my diet and move on with life headache free. I did get a couple of packages that I wanna show you guys too, which are in my office. So let me go in there. It's probably gonna be super dark cause it's really rainy out today and the most gloomy ever. I'm also waiting on a package from American Eagle because I'm gonna do a big try on haul from there. But UPS, I swear I'm like the last stop on UPS, which I wish I was the first one. So this first package is from Good Molecules. I've gotten a couple of products from there. I actually really like it from what I have tried so far. And this is the package they sent over. So it just comes with this little card and it says, oftentimes lower prices come at the expense of those who cannot stand up for themselves, farmers, workers, and the environment. It doesn't have to be that way. So they directly sourced this. Um, this is their new pure rosehip seed oil, handpicked by farmers in the 
Patagonia of Chile and cold press to ensure the highest quality for radiant skin. So it came in this little bag. So this is their packaging. I just think their packaging is so cute. I think the lighting in here is making my camera not want to focus. This is the little dropper. So I will definitely try this out. I used to use rosehip oil a long time ago when I first started my skincare routine because it's supposed to have some really great benefits for your skin, especially for acne. And so I was really interested in it and then I just haven't really tried it since then. So I think it's a good thing to add back into my routine. So I'm gonna try that out. I have three more days, I guess, technically. The rest of today, Saturday and Sunday for my pre-sale for With Love Sarah. You guys have bought way more things than I thought that you guys would, which is so nice. And I'm super, super excited about it. I'm already trying to do all my planning for holiday, which seems so early because it's literally October and the holidays feel like they should be farther away than they are. But I am trying to plan. I've got so many new releases that are gonna come out before the holidays, which is gonna be really exciting. I'll share them with you guys, but I've been working on that so much lately and I'm actually probably gonna work on it basically all weekend. So exciting things are coming in. So many videos and content is coming in, but I don't know if we're really gonna do anything fun this weekend. If we do, I will take you guys along. We're going to dinner with Adam's parents tonight and then we're hanging out with his sister tomorrow. So we'll see, but I will check in with you guys later. Welcome to another episode of Sarah and Adam Cook Dinner where Adam cooks and Sarah eats. It still has no head. <laughs> oh, I have this like dinosaur poof on my head. Babe, you didn't tell me. What is that? Okay, we're making a, a recipe. What is the recipe? <sighs> that Adam, I'm about to tell him. That Adam found. It is spicy sausage pasta. That's apparently what it's gonna look like. You can't that teeny that. tiny little photo. I will link it. You're cutting your head off. I don't care about not having a head. You yeah, care about that. That's the quality of picture and video. No, it's not. It doesn't matter if you have a head or not. Yes, it does. Why? Does. They know what my hair looks like. Because when you're filming a video and making a video, you want to show everything. Oh, I will link the recipe down below for you guys. I will get Adam to send me the actual. Assuming it's good. Yeah, if it's good, if it sucks, then I will spare you. We're doing turkey sausage on my request. Not because Adam wants it. Um, and I'm just measuring out the chicken broth and the cream. And Adam's gonna do more chopping, I think. Because he his eyes don't water when he chops onion. Isn't that weird? I don't understand. We're like a little cooking show over here with all of our pre-measured little things in different containers ready to go. I'm pretty sure it's like a one skillet meal. So as soon as this gets going, we'll be able to put everything in. So that's been sitting for like 15 minutes and all the pasta and stuff is cooked. So now we're gonna add cheese to the top. This is our finished dinner. We've got some almost dead flowers. Adam drinks milk at every dinner. Is that weird? Anyway, we're gonna sit and eat and then probably hang out and watch TV, right? I'll let you know how it is or if it's disgusting. All right, what'd you think? It was good. It needs a little more spice. I don't think it needed more spice, actually. You could add a little bit of like chili powder or cayenne, it'd be good. I thought it was gonna- I like spicy food though. 
No, I mean, I do too, but I thought that it was still good. I would make this recipe again. If you wanted to modify it, we could modify it, but I would, I will link it down for, below for you guys. Adam, you have to send it to me, but. The melted cheese on top is the best. That was good. Two very enthusiastic thumbs ups. I have been totally slacking as far as vlogging goes this week. It is Thursday. I think I vlogged last week. I think we're like a week and a half in and I accidentally deleted two clips off of my camera so I can't even use those. So I'm just like doing really well. Um, I'm about to clean my sneaker wedges. So I figured I would share with you guys how I do it. But obviously like the soles get a little bit dirty. And so I like to clean them before they're like crazy out of control dirty because it's way easier to clean them now than it is like once that's really, really grimy and it's on there really well. So that's what I'm gonna do. What I use is this, it's from Jason Mark. I just get it on Amazon, I will link it for you guys. And this little tile brush, which seems really weird, but this is what I use. And then what you do is you just get warm water. You just take a bowl and get some warm water. All right, I've got my water and I'm just taking a couple drops of this right in there don't worry i will clean my counter after having shoes on it that is really gross so then i'm just taking this brush dipping it into the bowl and i do have this rag to use just kind of sitting on the side and what i'm going to do is just start um, rubbing this on there and you can already see it's getting cleaner And sometimes I will use, this is a softer part of the bristle. I'll use this back part for some that's just not getting off as easily. So that was kind of the first pass and you can see the difference of these. They were filthy and they're definitely looking a lot better. So now what I'm going to do is just go back over them one more time and just try and get off any of the stubborn stuff. Okay, so this is the result. I don't clean the bottom because I don't care that much, but they are wet. I'm just gonna let them dry. But again, this is the difference. It's such a quick fix and it makes your shoes look so much better. These look good as new. All right, so my sneakers are good to go. They just need to dry. I got them a little bit wet in a few places, so they just need to dry, but I figured I would show you guys that I've used it on so many pairs of shoes throughout the years. This lasts forever. I've had it for a very long time and I clean tons of shoes with it. You saw you just put a little bit in the water and then sometimes if there's something stubborn, I'll put a couple of drops onto the brush directly, but I mean, it lasts for so long. So yeah, it's like the easiest way to keep your shoes looking good. I told you guys I would update you on the vital proteins. This is good in a smoothie. You cannot taste it. So I'm going to make a smoothie. I'm just putting some orange juice, some spinach. These are those reusable Ziploc bags from Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. They're so good. Um, and then I just have frozen berries and this protein powder. Well, collagen, whatever. Hey guys. It is Friday, it's not even morning. It's like 1.30, I just finished filming and I totally forgot to show you guys yesterday that I got a huge package from Pixie. Like this thing is gigantic and I ended up just filming with it today. So inside here, this is their P Pixie Pretties um, collection and they basically, collabed with five different influencers. So each one has like a little spot on here. And I went through and tried everything out today. Let's see if you can see my makeup and then my lip. Uh, so you're balancing on this box, which I feel like is not very sturdy. Um, 
but yeah so i just finished filming there's definitely some hits definitely some misses um but yeah i've been trying to show you guys when i get packages in these vlogs and i totally forgot to show you yesterday so i just got my sub my like huge supply order in for all of the pre-sale necklaces and rings and i am so excited about it they are so cute and i can't wait to make them so i'm going to probably spend the majority of my day making those and that's about it i'm going to hopefully edit this pixie video either later tonight or tomorrow morning and get it up for you guys this weekend another working day i'm in a normal sweater i'll link this down below i just shared it in a try on haul and then these joggers that i also try shared in a try on haul so i'm like dressed from the waist up and like in pajamas from the waist down which is just the usual of my life hello it is friday like 5 30 i am going to cook some dinner i picked up this pasta i was looking for that um bonza pasta it's that pasta made from chickpeas but this location of kroger didn't have it which is really weird so i picked up that kind we'll see i also stopped at michael's and got another organizer for jewelry stuff but i'm going to make turkey meatballs and i have um homemade spaghetti sauce that i made a couple weeks ago and i froze it so that is thawing and then we're gonna do brussels sprouts and yeah so I'm just gonna show you guys how I make everything. I'm trying really hard to eat really clean. We ate like garbage in Savannah. If you guys saw that vlog, we just ate like all the biscuits. And uh, I just have not been feeling my best. And so I'm trying to eat really clean again. So this is kind of like a healthy dinner that we're gonna do. Per usual, I forgot to vlog the rest of cooking dinner, but this is the finished result. These are our favorite Brussels sprouts. It's how we make them almost every time. And I'm obviously not a chef because I made his plate inverted. I should have put the sauce on top. But that is it. I'll let you guys know how the pasta is. We just finished dinner and um, I feel like the pasta tasted exactly the same as normal pasta. It was slightly different. It was not, a, I mean, it wasn't yeah. bad, but it was not the same as traditional pasta okay well what do you think of the turkey meatballs they were good as always yeah healthy eating here we come but, but 